Now, a top U.S. delegation, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, are set to visit Dharamshala in India today to meet Dalai Lama. The visit comes days after the U.S. House of Representatives passed a bill urging China to re-engage with the Dalai Lama. All right, to get a glimpse of all the preparations ahead of the top-level U.S. delegation as they make their way to Dharamshala, we are joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, who's joining us from Dharamshala. Siddhant, give us an understanding of the preparations so far and also give us a view of the scenic location you're at. Well, uh, Shivin, I'm outside the Kangra airport and in about uh, 30 minutes from now, a high-powered bipartisan U.S. lawmakers delegation, which includes Nancy Pelosi, will reach uh, uh, this uh, airport and will uh, go to Dharamshala, where they will be meeting the Dalai Lama, His Holiness Dalai Lama, tomorrow. Uh, but before I give you the scenic location, uh, with me is someone who knows the in and outs of how uh, the Tibetan government uh, in exile works and how how the diaspora of uh, Tibet uh, live here in uh, this uh, city. Uh, with me is uh, uh, General Secretary of the Tibetan Youth Congress. Uh, sir, welcome to Vion. My first question to you is, uh, how do you see this high power delegation traveling uh, to uh, this city and of course meeting His Holiness Dalai Lama? So first of all, I on behalf of the Tibetans extend our warm welcome to the US delegation led by Her Excellency Nancy Pelosi. And uh, I think this delegation will send a clear and concrete message to the Chinese leaders that uh, we have truth and justice on our side on this fight for free Tibet. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you see the visit of Nancy Pelosi? Because she is someone who has supported the Tibetan cause. And in the past as well, her visit has led to a lot of reaction from China, including her uh, famous uh, visit uh, in many senses to Taiwan. So despite the Chinese, you know, constant disagreement of such visit, her constant visit and her shows her unwavering support to the chess course of Tibet. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what we believe. Mm -hmm. And my final question to you is, uh, the Resolve Tibet uh, Act has been passed by the U.S. Congress. It now awaits uh, uh, the signature of the U.S. President. How do you see that bill, that act helping the Tibetan cause? So this bill which support the historical independent status of Tibet and which also says, uh, which also counters the Chinese you know, disinformation and the Chinese narratives, that will also send a direct message to the Chinese leadership that we have just and truth on our side and it will also send a message to the other leaders, democratic leaders all around the world that we should support the uh, truth and just cause mm -hmm. of Tibet. Mm -hmm. So that's a view uh, from ground, Shivin. But uh, let me show you uh, what is the exact situation outside the airport where this delegation will be coming. Uh, many Tibetans, the members of the Tibetan diaspora, have come here and uh, have they, of course, are uh, here sitting and waiting for the delegation with uh, the flags of Tibet and with the American flag and with the Indian flag as well. These are the people who have made Dharamshala uh, their home. And um, uh, for our viewers, let me tell you that Dharamshala is the city where the Tibetan government in exile has its offices and uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama also stays here and the fact that the US delegation is traveling here is seen as a major geopolitical development uh, of course there will be a Chinese reaction as well uh, and this is something that is closely awaited Absolutely, Siddhant. You know how China views this visit and it's interesting that they're sending Nancy Pelosi here. We remember what happened when she made her way to Taiwan earlier. But uh, of course, we are going to be tracking this closely. Of course, you're there on ground. 30 minutes from now is when you said the delegation would be arriving. We will be staying in touch with you to get all the updates. Thank you.